my friends, we're going to integrate this function x cubed times e to the negative x squared. This is a Gaussian function from 0 to infinity, and it's going to be awesome. And just note I got many modifications of this integral if you want to check those out. So we're going to integrate this using integration by parts, which is kind of our standard uh, format right here. But before we do that right away, we're going to split it up into x squared and x. I'm going to show you why we did that in a minute. Now this x squared is going to be equal to u for the integration by parts. So the derivative of u with respect to x using the power rule is 2x. And we want to rearrange this to solve for du. Uh, du is 2 times x dx, which is what we're going to plug into here. Now the other side of this uh, integral right here, this is our dv which is right here. We've got u is x squared, so dv is everything else. So that's what we've defined right here. And to integrate this, we're going to do a substitution. We'll say n equals negative x squared. Therefore, derivative of n with respect to x is negative 2x. And we can plug that into here. So n is negative x squared. And then if we solve for x dx, if we rearrange this equation, solve for x dx, we get dn over negative 2. Hope you see that, that we substitute in there. At this point, we can integrate. So if we integrate both sides, we get v on the left, and then the integral of this, which we can evaluate. And the integral of e to the n with respect to n is, is itself. It's n. The 1 half comes along for the ride. So does the negative sign. Now we'll back substitute. So we'll substitute back in what n is, because we care about x and not n. And this is our v. So we're going to plug all this stuff in to our integration by parts, where u is our x squared. V is what we just solved for right here, what we evaluated. We're going to go from 0 to infinity on both limits, uh, minus, and now this is our V that we solved for, and then the DU is this part that we plugged in here. Now, if we look at this term, this is called the boundary term, we're going to go from in 0 to infinity, and mathematicians don't like plugging in infinity. They really like to see a limit as some variable goes to infinity. But anyways, in this first term here, the denominator goes to infinity faster than the numerator, so this becomes 0. And then we have 0 here, uh, of course, so this whole term is 0, so that's nice. So we'll just look at the other one. Now we'll clean this up, we'll cancel the 2s and the 2 negative signs, those cancel. And this integral, see this integral? This is what we just did up here. So we already did this integral, it's exactly the same. It's going to be negative 1 half times e to the negative uh, x squared. Uh, which is what we have right here. We're going to go from 0 to infinity. And if we plug this in, now mathematicians don't like plugging in infinity, but I was just trying to keep it clean, so hopefully you're okay with that. Uh, this goes to 0, uh, and this one goes to 1. So we have a uh, negative and a negative cancel out to make a positive 1 half, and that's our integral. So the integral of x cubed times e to the negative x squared dx from 0 to infinity is 1 half. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck on your midterms, final exams, assignments, and I'm here for you. Thanks again. Cheers.